We gotta get this form. Hey, yo, I'm Eddie Zhang. Eddie! Head chef and owner of the restaurant, oh. Dim Something's Gotta Give. Mm. Yo, these days, everyone wants to know what's the next big trend in global cuisine. And now they do, thanks to the man bringing authentic Sri Lankan food to the streets of Toronto. My boy, James Petersburg. Oh! This is the best Co2 I ever tasted. Thank you. Where'd you learn to blend spices like that? Listen, let me tell you, I spent three months training in Sri Lanka, but it was just way too hard, so I came back and hired Sri Lankan line cooks. No shit. 75% uh, of all kitchen labor in Toronto are Sri Lankan immigrants. And when I heard that, I said, that is a cuisine that I can exploit. You mean explore? Sure. Okay. Mm. Oh, woo! Damn, this is spicy. Mm, ah, ah. <laughs> Nothing is helping. So hot. You think white people are going to eat this? Yeah, they're afraid of the heat. So I figured, why not lean into it? You know, make the whole culinary experience feel as dangerous as uh, Civil War torn Sri Lanka. <laughs> That's technically a comparison someone else should make. Hey, uh, our curry's so hot, it it's like a war crime on your taste buds. <laughs> you don't only assume that it's too soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is where the magic happens, huh? Yo, Dinesh, do you think it should be your picture in all those food blogs? Yeah, but it's hard to create social media buzz when you're working 15 hours a day. So you didn't know James didn't know the menu items for generals accused of human rights abuses? I'm not allowed in the front of the restaurant. People might think I'm the chef instead of the guy who does all the cooking. Whoa, did you tell me you never eaten here before? I work in the restaurant industry. I can't afford to eat at a restaurant. So. If the Sri Lankan community doesn't eat here, mm. and you get all the money, are you guilty of cultural appropriation? Eddie, you run a Cantonese restaurant. So? You're Vietnamese. As fuck! Woo! So maybe there is a line between cultural exchange and appropriation. In retrospect, I probably wasn't equipped to handle this delicate debate. I'm your boy, Eddie Zhang, nice. and I do not stand behind this segment. The Beaverton. All new episode Wednesday on Comedy.